The last thing that an innocent bystander should be concerned about is being harmed by an authority figure that has been charged with their protection. Unfortunately, police brutality is a common and alarming issue that has dra dramatically increased over the years. In America, police brutality is a social problem that encompasses several other issues such as racial discrimination and government corruption. It generally revolves around an officer abusing their authoritative power in order to target minorities, primarily African Americans. When an officer of the law takes advantage of his authority and brutalizes an innocent person who they are supposed to be protecting, it reflects badly on the government and the way that laws in America are enforced. Police brutality has become so rampant for some areas that citizens find it to be normal and even expected. This growing issue of police brutality must be addressed in order to maintain a trust in law enforcement and better the world. One solution to this exigent problem would be to create programs where police officers seem less authoritative and are involved in the community through service and leadership projects. The more friendly interaction officers have with minorities, the better of an understanding both sides will have of one another. Another solution would be to take claims of police brutality seriously in order to ensure that officers are not seen as above the law. In order to decide whether or not a police act was discriminatorily violent, officers should be equipped with light, wearable video cameras that must be left recording at all times. This would allow people to see what happened and determine what form of action should be taken next. Some other potential solutions to police brutality are to record the police, vote out politicians who condone police brutality, engage in dialogue with the cops, and take legal action against police. Legal action against police has not yielded many positive results, as seen in the Ferguson, Missouri case. But it does make a statement that the people of America will not simply stand and watch as they are brutalized by the officers who vow to protect them. These solutions will most benefit the people of the United States who feel brutalized by police. In some cases, this would be African American citizens or minorities. In others, it would be majorities, because when concerning police brutality, a very large amount of people are affected. Police brutality cases are reported by everyone from old white women to young African American men. For years, the debate regarding whether or not police brutality is an exigent issue has raged on. The misuse of power not only puts minorities and fellow officers in danger, but promotes a feeling of mistrust towards those enforcing the law. This social problem j doesn't just affect the community, but causes pain for the families who have lost their loved ones to the corrupt law enforcement and promotes an environment where few people feel safely protected by the law. Police brutality has been a problem since f as far back as the civil rights movement in the 1960s. Through the hardship of trying to obtain civil rights, minorities have received unfair and violent treatment from the people who are supposed to represent and uphold the American justice system.